We'd like to sincerely thank our Patreon supporters. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Kagan and I are walking into the play area where my the attack rooster is. Oh, you looking at me? He's looking at me. He's thinking about it. But Kagan shows him who's boss. He doesn't mess with her at all. Just me. Just me. But we are very close to... I got to keep an eye on him. You see, that's for me. That noise is for me. I have to keep... Oh. Get my mind straight. Some of the rabbits are close to having babies. They are. They are. Which ones? So it's this girl, Thunder Butter. Thunder Butter. Love the name. Clementine over here in the corner. Clementine. Honey Butter. And Willow. All right, I could see it. In yeah, honey you, butter. you can even see it. Her tummy is just so rotund. And Clementine gave us some early signs that she is very close by starting to pull out some of her fur, which they will do to prepare to make a nest for newborn baby bunnies. Um, you know how I get distracted easy? Sounds of chickens. Turkey egg. <laughs> a big old turkey egg. They seem to love this corner, don't they? They do. That's a, that's a big egg. Big old egg. And it's speckled. You guys could see. Pretty cool. Um, so what we need to build are some nest boxes. Nest boxes. I keep wanting to call we them... We can call them lay boxes. Lay boxes. <laughs> <laughs> They're not laying eggs. They are building a nest. Yes. So it makes sense. Um... <laughs> They're relatively inexpensive to buy. Relatively. They're about 30 bucks if you buy them in the store. But we have a whole mess of, of scrap plywood. plywood. Yep. Um, now, it, it can't be made out of uh, any plastic or any, because they're going to chew on it. Like, whatever is in there, they're going to chew on. Yeah. So we can't even make them out of pressure treated. It's a sacrificial box. Yeah. That you they're know that they're going to nibble on. The babies are going to nibble on it. You don't want anything that could hurt their tummies at all okay well uh we're just gonna use white pine plywood yeah um honestly it'd probably be better if it wasn't plywood altogether if it was just one by material because mm -hmm. that wouldn't even that would eliminate the glue mm -hmm. but we don't have one by material we just <laughs> we don't have that but we do have a whole bunch of scrap plywood from doing the front of the shop yep. so and that plywood's actually been in the way so this is a very <laughs> good in the way. So how many do we need to build? We need to build four. So I have three others, just not in Florida right now. We'll be getting those at a later date. But for now, we need four for the four females that are getting ready to have those babies. Okay. Well, uh, let's go look at her drawing because she's got it. I actually had to stop her because uh, Kagan loves her art. <laughs> and uh, like she's always doodling really cool artwork. And uh, I said, just draw out the box so I know what to build. And she's sitting there working on it and I'm working on some other stuff. And I'm like, hey, we gotta film this video. We gotta get, gotta get moving. And you're, you're like shading the lines and stuff. <laughs> let's, let's go look at this drawing. So now we're in the shop and here is Kagan's drawing. And you could see like she has to draw the dimensional side of every board. <laughs> She was shading it all in. She's starting to, I mean, this isn't how far she would have taken it. This is where I stopped her. But you you can see the the general drawing. Uh, she's gonna keep drawing more oh, I've been, I, I just needed measurements. <laughs> all right, so all the plywood from doing the front of the shop that's been on this inside wall and it's actually so it was the plywood that I used for up there. So it's the scraps that were cut off from that. Um, it's been in the way. So let's, uh, we'll get a square and uh, make our square cuts out of the bigger pieces. Um, we'll draw them out and see how many, how many we can build. So if we draw three out, all sides and everything, and then if we can squeeze a fourth, we'll do that. All right, so Jerry is measuring up the last couple pieces of wood for the rabbit nesting boxes and the rest 
are already ready to go. We've got them all laid out, the pieces that we'll need. In just a second, I'm gonna start putting them together. So Kagan is pre-drilling and screwing together the boxes on the table. And I'm sorry, my shop looks absolutely disgusting. All the stuff from the other property just basically got dumped in here because we had to do load after load to get stuff out of there. And, uh, and I'm doing the surf ski project at the same time. So all my fiberglass stuff and everything is sitting out. She's got the next two kits already laid out. I guess I'm calling them kits because I just cut them and uh, she's drilling and assembling. But that's the first one done. And uh, there's Pete sunbathing over here. What are you doing, bub? Oh, loving the sun, huh? It's too hot to do that for me. But, uh, She's gonna get them all assembled and then we're gonna set them up for the rabbits. Okay, I'm working on something else and then I saw that Kagan is racing ahead of us. <laughs> so now you are packing the nest boxes with, what kind of, what is this? This is Timothy grass. Timothy grass? Yep. So just a type of hay or is it is it more specific than that? Will they eat this? Yeah, this is, this, this is like one of their main uh, foods in their diet that they would eat aside from the rabbit pellets that you can get in the store. Okay. Um, they can enjoy alfalfa grass on occasion, but the Timothy grass is really like one of their main staples. Okay. So what I'm doing is, it smells pretty good too. Yeah. yeah all right. <laughs> um, what I'm doing is, I'm, I have to know what everything like smell or taste like. <laughs> well, no, not everything. So. You, meanwhile, you were making fun of me earlier for sniffing the egg. <laughs> is that a chicken freshly laid? No, out of the modern Oh, uh, yeah, modern that's box. totally different, right? <laughs> <laughs> one's um, kind of scary. All so, right. So I'm packing these a little bit with the hay. So that one's like done. Yeah, those two are pretty much done. And this one's a work in progress. Yeah, here. And, and the girls are going to go in and really, you know, well, why don't you finish this one up while to. we're filming so we can see how you do it? Like I was saying, the girls are going to go in and, and arrange the hay how they want it. They're going to, and they pull out their own fur to help um, line the, the bed of the nest with, uh, you know, something that smells like them and something that's extra soft for the babies. Okay. And uh, I bet as soon as we put these in there, we're going to see if any of them just go straight into checking it out and, and start customizing right away. That's going to be cool. Yeah. It's going to be the like the better part of the afternoon where it starts cooling off yeah. a little bit. And so the animals are usually, well, not the reptiles, mm. but the chickens and rabbits are probably a bit more active. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Very cool. I guess she's got one more to finish up. And uh, yeah, I got my uh, protective glasses on my head. I just realized. Um, <laughs> And then we'll uh, take these uh, back to the play area. Yeah. Still gonna be called the play area. <laughs> All right, driving to the back. I'm having to sit funny because Pete stole my seat. <laughs> the, the, the golf cart is his absolute favorite thing. Let's go. Whoa. He'll ride, and if we see us, he sees something running in the yard, and you know what I'm talking about. Let me see. <laughs> well, where I'm sitting? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and of course, Pete bailed. He thought he saw a squirrel. All right, we're in front of the play area. Oh, yeah. Pete's gonna have to sit somewhere a little less comfortable next time. Where's this rooster at? He's down there. He's evil. Did you build it to fit through the entrance? If it's to the size of the others, uh-oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, that's weird because I got the dimensions off of the so supply website. In, in construction, there. there is a, a saying. Do you know the saying? Uh, oh, hang on. Measure twice, cut once. That's the saying. <laughs> All right. So we're going to pause for a second and figure this out. <laughs> okay. Um, so what we had to do was unscrew all of them or take the hay out, unscrew all of them and reassemble them inside the cages. Yep. But for the record, everyone, <laughs> we can't make fun of Kagan because Jerry mismeasured the back. Actually, once we started it, you had changed. There was a little confusion, but I'm not totally innocent of not measuring twice because I did measure once and I cut it all and then you changed the way the boards were gonna be. And I altered another board, but I didn't alter the back one. Mm -hmm. So all of the backs are set weird. Um, <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> we figured it out. We built them with some scrap plywood. We, we got it done quickly and uh, you can really see how big this curl is. What was her name again? That's uh, Honey Butter. Honey Butter. You can really see how big Honey Butter is. Um, so, and you're saying any day now. Like oh, yeah. you, According could, to your math, it's... It could be as early as tomorrow morning. They tend to have their babies at dawn, I believe. Um, so we could wake up and there could be it's bunnies. Here. How cool is that? I want to put this in that corner where you're There you go. Go check it out. I haven't had baby bunnies before. <laughs> Should we put some eggs in the nest so they know? No. No, it doesn't help. It doesn't help. No, it doesn't help. No ping pong balls or anything to no. fool them? They'll know where it goes. Yeah, we'll... we'll uh, We'll give them some time to settle in and hopefully we'll be able to catch them um, after having rearranged the boxes the way that they want them and having so, seen their fur pulled out and made the nests. I think if this could possibly happen this soon, let's end the video on babies. Yeah. If it's going to happen that soon. Yeah. So we'll be back. Okay. The day is here. <laughs> we have babies. So exciting. <laughs> You ran over to me. I did. And said, we have babies. Can we see your babies, Mama? So you can see she pulled sure out did. a lot of the fur from her chest area. And I'm not going to mess with them too much. Look at those little babies. Wiggling around in there. How many are there? Let's see. Ish. There's one, two, three, four, five, six at least. At least six. Probably a few more. I'm not going to go digging down in there too much. Good job, Mama. <laughs> now, at this age, they are, their eyes are closed and. Yep, their eyes are closed. They have no fur. That darkness is just their skin. And mother rabbits actually only nurse their young in the mornings and the evenings. And otherwise, um, they she doesn't like sit on them. She doesn't really do much with them. Um, so in the wild, a rabbit mother, if you find where she's had her babies in like a little hole or something, that mom is only gonna go tend to them in the very early morning and the very evening and that's to keep predators away from them um so if you ever find a nest of baby bunnies and you think oh no the mom's abandoned them no she hasn't no she's just that's... uh it's just what they do <laughs> you got a lot to say did you just lay all those eggs <laughs> no wonder she's complaining uh, there's what a turkey egg in the back there? there's two <laughs> Two turkey eggs. Oh yeah, there are. One, one in the front, one in the back. <laughs> but yeah, we got so, baby bunnies. That's a success. And the other ones are just days away. Yep. Uh, we are leaving town for Kansas tomorrow for... Day after tomorrow. <laughs> 
So we're leaving town the day after tomorrow and my mom will be staying at the house. So at the same time, we are trying to set up all the animals, rabbits, everything, so my mom can care for them when we're away, trying to set up everything easier for her. Um, getting hoses closer, getting timers set on the plants. So, I don't know. This is an overwhelming amount of work for one person, if especially if they don't fully understand the program or not used to the entire program. So we're working on that right now and uh, we've got a lot to do before the end of the day. So, uh, oh yeah, so did I say we're going to Kansas? We're taking, we're taking Tyler's truck back, that big uh, excursion vehicle and his side-by-side -side and trailer. So we're, we're taking that back to him. We never got to that project and he was fully understanding about it. Um, we'll just attack it another time. But uh, that's all for now. Congratulations on the, ba the babies. Thank you. <laughs> there will be more. Yeah, we're going to come back and there's going to be a whole mess of them. <laughs> All right, guys. Until next time. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for watching, everyone. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. See you soon.